So I have three chemical equations here that I need to balance today. And the first one is blank N2 plus blank H2 yields blank NH3. Now the first thing that we need to do is make sure that the amounts of the elements on one side of the reaction are the same as the amounts on the other side. So I'm just going to set up a list to organize myself. And I can see that the only elements here are just N and H. So on the left side, we have two N's and we also have two H's. And then on the right side, I have one N and three H's. Now let's see what happens when we put a two here. That means we're gonna multiply this whole thing by two. So instead of one N, we'll have two N's. And instead of three H's, we'll multiply that by two to get six H's. Okay, now the N's are good. So we can leave this as one. And now we need to change this to make the left side have six H's instead of just two. So what we can do is put a three here because three times two is six. So instead of two, we'll have six hydrogens. And now we have the same number of nitrogens and the same number of hydrogens. So we're done. Next one, it's a little bit harder. So I can see that we have the same number of sodiums. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. And then the next element we have is Br. So Br, is one over here but two over here so obviously we need to put a two in front so now we have two sodiums one sodium two brs two brs since we only have one na we need to multiply that by two so two of these two of these next one ca calcium we have um one calcium one calcium we're good Next one, F, two Fs, two Fs, and we're good. So it's two, one, two, one. Last one, two H's. Um, looking on the right side, we have one H. So let's put a two. We're done with the H's. Now sulfur, uh, we have one sulfur over here, so that's good. Oxygen. Now remember, don't forget about the other uh, compounds on the left side of the equation. So we have four plus two, so that means we have six O's in total. Over here, we have two times two is four, four oxygens. And here we have uh, another four, so that's going to be eight O's. So um, let's leave that for uh, alone right now. And let's move on to something else because if we, because we have uh, both of these compounds with an O in it and both of these compounds with an O in it, so we'll just leave it alone for now because then it'll get too complicated. And I see over here that we have two NAs and one NA on the left side. So let's multiply that by two to balance out the sodiums. Um, now we have one, uh, two nitrogens because two times all of this will give you two nitrogens, and we have two nitrogens, so the nitrogens balance out. Okay, so basically, all of the elements are balanced out except for oxygen. And since we multiplied this whole thing by two, instead of six ox oxygens, we now have four plus uh, two times two is four, so that's going to be eight oxygens, and it looks like we're done.